Oh, hello there. We've just been cleaning up our happy home. This is where we all come together to play music and uh, perform in the workers' musical band. And we've all got our own special jobs that we do as well. Mm. I'm Dr Marcy. Do you know what a doctor does? If you're feeling unwell, you can visit a doctor like me to help you feel better. And I'm Policeman Ben. And it's my job to make sure that people stay safe and secure. And I get to drive around in my police car. <laughs> <laughs> is, there, is there a police car in our house? Oh, no, Builder Jum. Ben was just pretending to drive his police car to oh. tell our friends what he does. Well, that's good because we've just cleaned up and a police car would have made a terrible mess yeah. in here. <laughs> You're right. It was good pretending though, Ben. You had me fooled. Oh, well, do you think a police car could actually fit inside a house? Well, maybe if it was a really big house. Oh, in fact, I wonder if I could build a house that big. Oh, hello. I'm Builder John, and I really like building houses. In fact, I like building anything. Actually, building houses and roads and buildings is what I love to do. <laughs> Great cleaning <laughs> work. Oh, that was fun, cleaning and singing and working together, wasn't it? Yeah. It was. <laughs> oh. oh, hi. I'm Fireman Ross. And I'm a firefighter. It's a firefighter's job to help rescue people and to put out fires. <laughs> and hi, I'm Ballerina Beth. And I'm a dancer. And it's my job to dance and entertain audiences like you. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, now we're all here and we've finished our cleaning, we might as well grab our instruments and make some music. Did you know, Ben, we actually don't need instruments to make music. We can use our bodies. Yeah, yeah well that's mm. right, Dr Marcy. And we can use our hands to clap. Wow. wow. We can That's also good. use our fingers to click. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could use our mouth. La 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 to sing. That was a beautiful. <laughs> Thank scene. you. Our lips around our mouths also make noises. Kissing noises. <laughs> 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 and did you know, it's not just the outside of our bodies that makes sound, inside does as well. Really? Yes. I'm not sure if you've seen one of these before, but this is what doctors use to check people's heartbeats. It's called a stethoscope. And the heart sounds like this. Da-dum. Da-dum. Hmm. John, can I check your heartbeat? Sure, Dr. Mouse. Great. Let me just put these in my ears. Yes, that's a good da dum da dum sound. You're very healthy. Oh, thanks, Dr. Marcy. <laughs> so, do you think, guys, today we could learn about all the different sounds and noises and things that our body can do? Yeah. Yeah. yeah why not? Great mm, idea. Fantastic. Do you know? Have you ever noticed too that when we're really happy and we know it and we really want to show it, we clap our hands? We do yeah. too. Yeah. And in fact, we know a song about if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> so why don't you join in with us as we sing If You're Happy and You Know It and do the hand actions as well. Yeah. Great idea. <laughs> Come on, guys. Everyone knows this song. Join in with us. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. 
Doctor, sometimes I like to dress up and pretend that I have another job. Hmm, I'm going to put on my newsreader jacket. Oh, one sleeve, the other sleeve. Hmm. And my newsreader glasses. There. Do I look like a newsreader? Great. Because it's now time for the workers' news. Work it out with the workers Hello. Welcome to Workers' News, the news that's all about you. And making news today are all the different parts that make up our body. Thanks to our body, we can do so many incredible things. We now cross to Junior Reporter Paris for more. Hi Workers, today we're going to be exploring some of the different things that we can do with our body. One of the really fun things is finger painting. When painting, the first thing we have to do is put on an old shirt or an apron to protect our clothing. We've got easels set up and a blank piece of paper and, of course, our paint. Let's get working on our masterpieces. painting is so much fun. You can use your fingers instead of a paintbrush. It can get very messy. These kids are using their fingers to create pictures of a starry night. Aren't their pictures looking great? What colours are they using to create their Starry Night pictures? There's some blue paint, red paint, yellow paint and white paint. Beautiful starry night finger painting. The last thing to do is put our pictures out to dry in the sun. Be sure to put something heavy on the top to make sure it doesn't blow away. It's 
It's important to wash our fingers and hands when we're done to get all the paint off. There, nice and clean. So as you can see, painting things with your fingers and hands is great fun. Well, this is Junior Porter Paris signing off for the Workers News. Back to you. Thanks, Paris. Our bodies really are quite newsworthy indeed. Until next time, this is Newsreader Marcy signing off for the Workers News. The news that's all about you. Crackaging go Jack. Thanks, Newsreader Marcy. I can't believe how many different things you can do with your hands and feet. I can even draw around my hand. Drawing all the way around every finger, right in between each finger. Around we go. Look at that! Drawing my hand on a piece of green paper. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? I thought it was very impressive in your news, Dr Marcy, with the people that drew with their fingers. They didn't draw with a crayon, though. They were using paint. And they were dabbing the paint, doing finger painting. Looks fantastic. I'm going to show you some finger painting today. Before you came to my workshop, I was just busy drawing my hand on some green paper for the leaves on a tree. Let's have a look. There's my hand. Behind the tree here, all the different coloured le green leaves. And then I've got my arm. I used my arm for the trunk of the tree. The brown piece of paper. I think this garden picture needs a flower. Every garden needs a flower. They look fantastic. I'm going to use some beautiful, colourful paint. I've got some green paint. I squirted some green paint on. And I've also got some yellow paint and some red paint. Here they are here. Now, a flower. The first thing I'm going to do with my flower is the centre of the flower. The centre is in the middle. I'm going to use red, I think. I'm going to use my pointer finger. Dip it in. Oh, gee, it's cold and squishy. Feels nice, though. OK, here we go. Don't use too much. I think I'll do one flower down here. On there. And I'll put a little bit more paint on. I love that squishy feeling. And I'll put another flower up here. That's a nice tall flower. How does that look? They don't look like flowers yet, though, do they? So they're the centres of my flowers. What else does my flower need? Around the outside of the flower, they're called... What are they called? Petals. Yeah, I'm going to put some petals on. I think I might use yellow for my petals. I'm going to use my pinky. Oh, squishy, squashy paint. It's gold. OK, let's have a go. One petal there. One petal there. A bit more paint. One petal there. Another petal here. A little bit more. Might just come over here so I can get them on this side. Petal there. Another petal there. That's looking a bit more like a flower, isn't it? I better do the other one. Let's count them this time. So that's one. Two. Come back over this side. Whoops, oh, I nearly lost my picture. Three, four, five, and six petals around my flower. They still don't look like flowers though. The petals look good and the centre looks good, but I'm missing something. <laughs> Hello, Buzz. Hi, John. I couldn't help but notice your beautiful flowers. Oh, I should have guessed that you'd notice our flowers. What am I missing, Buzz? There's something I'm missing in these flowers. You'd know, being a mm. garden creature. I think you need some stems on your flowers. Ah, yes, I need a stem. So should I make my stems green, do you think? Yes. Green? Green, green oh, stem. Buzz, this paint feels all squishy and cold. Mm. Very nice. All right. 
So do we start at the top or the bottom, do you think? So Buzz? start at the bottom. Okay. Out of the ground, all the way up to the pretty red and yellow flower. That's good. We'll do the other one? Yeah, do the other one. Okay. So out of the ground, all the way up to right. the pretty red and yellow flower. There we go. Two stems. Now, what else do you think, Buzz? What else can we put on these stems? I think we need some leaves on your stems. Fantastic idea. Keep using... It's here, we'll put some leaves out there. How does that look? What do you think? I like those. And... Some more out there. Second leaf. What about this flower? Good idea. I'll put put... One. Definitely need some leaves on both flowers. And on the stems. Two leaves. There we go. I might put another one on this one, this stem okay. here. Because it's a bit taller. I'll just put a couple of little ones there. Maybe one more up here. So that one now has one, two, three, four leaves. Four leaves. And six petals. We counted before that we had six petals on our uh, on our flowers. Oh, wow. I might also put, you know, in the garden, what do we have on the ground in our garden? Sometimes we have green grass, don't yeah. we? Let's put a bit of green grass around. Put some green grass. That looks really good. Along the bottom. Gee, you can really see the fingerprints there. We've got little lines on our hands, on our fingers that uh, make our fingers have fingerprints. There we go. Bit of green grass. Do you like my hand picture, Buzz? I sure do. I made it all with my hands. On my head, I place my hands. Oh, on your hands. Touch my hair. Oh, so Heel and toe, heel and toe, one, two, three, four. Heel and toe, heel and toe, one, two, three and four. <laughs> oh, hello. I've just been practising some dance moves. Would you like to join in? <gasps> Great. Well, I need you to stand up tall and put your hands on your hips like this. Great. Now, the first move involves the feet. You need to place your heel like this. Very nice. And now you need to point your toes. Perfect. And back on the heel. And now the toe. Great. Now we'll try the other side. Ready? Heel, toe, heel, toe. <laughs> Perfect. Now the next move means we have to jump this way four times. Ready? Here we go. 
One, two, three, four. <laughs> and back this way. Ready? One, two, three, and four. Great. Should we try it together? Here we go. Heel and toe, heel and toe. Side, side, side and side. Heel and toe, heel and toe. Side, side, side and side. Oh, well done. Now, we need to include the arms. So we put our arms up high. That's it, stretching up, touching the sky and down by our sides. Try that again. Arms up high and down by our sides. Do you think that you can put everything I've just taught you together? Let's try it. Come on, we'll do it together. Ready? Heel and toe, heel and toe. One, two, three and four. Heel and toe, heel and toe. One, two, three and four. Arms up high, arms down low. Arms up high, arms down low. Oh, great. All right, we're gonna put it all together right now. Here we go. Heel and toe, heel and toe. One, two, three and four. Heel and toe, heel and toe. One, two, three and four. Arms up high, arms down low. Arms up high, arms down low. <laughs> One more time, this time a little bit faster. Here we go. Heel and toe, heel and toe. One, two, three and four. Heel and toe, heel and toe. One, two, three and four. Arms up high, arms down low. Arms up high, arms down low. <laughs> oh, did you have fun? <laughs> Great. Well, you know, I know a song about touching the sky. Yeah, it does all the actions of the body and it teaches us all the different moves that we can do with our body. Would you like me to sing it to you? Great. Here we go. You sure know a lot about the human body. Let's see if you know what sounds these are. That's an easy one, Marcy. That's clicking <laughs> fingers. That's right, Ben. Are you ready for another clue? Sure. Great. We all know this one too, don't we? This is kissing sound. That's right, Ben. <laughs> Great. And one last clue. Ready? That's a good one. Hey, John, you should be able to work this one out. Hmm. Um, yeah, I've heard it before. Let me give you a clue, John. Here we go. Oh. Mm. I'm getting a bit stressed. I'm trying to work this one out. Think, think. When I get a bit worried, my heartbeat goes up. <gasps> it's, it's my heartbeat. That's right, John. Well done. Did you 
know that under your skin, your body's made up of bones? Lots and lots of bones. Have a look here. We can see these bones on our skeleton. The bones in your arms, your hands and your fingers, and the bones in your legs, feet and toes. You even have bones in your head. A doctor will check to see that your bones are healthy by using one of these. This is called an X-ray, and it's a special picture that a doctor uses to make sure that your bones are healthy and strong. I have a song about the bones in your body. I got a body full of bones. Say it's been today. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm feeling a little bit tired. But I've had great fun. <laughs> My favourite part of the day was dancing with you all. Sand bottom and hands that clap. Swing your arms and touch your back. Hips and lips and hands up high. Stretch my I loved pretending to be a newsreader and finding out all about what your hands and feet can do. The different parts that make up our body. Thanks to our body, we can do so many incredible things. We now cross to Junior Reporter Paris for more. Hi workers, today we're going to be exploring some of the different things that we can do with our body. One of the really fun things is finger painting. We had a great time in our happy home with you today. And we hope you'll all join us again sometime soon. So, let's use our hands to say goodbye. Until next time, keep on working! Workers! <laughs> oh.